Hey everybody, <clears throat> it is um, 11.35 my time, and I'm going to stream some dog bones tonight. How about that? Sound good to everybody? we got a fielding training session to start things off the bat here. we got bases loaded. Let's turn two, shall we? Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Trying to focus here so I can get my points. Burnsy, you officially suck at MLB. Oh, yeah. What is that, dog? Well, at least I got an out. <clears throat> Could have been worse. Ah, bad reaction. Gonna pay for that. I should probably tweet this out. <sighs> But I gotta do my fielding first. Ah. I did not get there. There we go. No out space is loaded. Okay. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I cheated. Yeah, catch not made. I'm not gonna get any points here, am I? One out, runners on first and third. Dude, he was fast on the line. Oh, we got bronze level. First and third, nobody out. That's a way. Hey, C. Perkins, 17. How you doing? No alt space is loaded. Okay. Focus, focus. Can we get in the gold level? I forget what it is for gold. Is it? Oh, we're there. Okay, let's not blow it. One out, runner up first. Double play time. We're good. Yay. I'm doing all right, man. I'm, um, I thought I was feeling kind of tired. Then I got the kids to bed and kind of regrouped a little. And I said, I think I can stream for a while. It's been a while since I, uh, for a while there, I, I was doing them like every night for a little bit. And then I, I tailed off a little bit. So we got to get back on, back on track. Hey, Toby, how are you? Okay, we got some points to play with here now. You need some votes on your straw poll? Yeah, go ahead and post it, Celtics. That's fine. That is just fine. You go for it. Okay. Whoa, we got lots of training points. Huh. I simmed a couple games forward. It must have been pretty impressive. Then I just got the, well, I got the 250 just now, so. Must have been pretty good all around, though. Yeah, we can bump both those up nicely. All right, we're going to take that. We're going to go into our next game here. Yes, we get the biscuits. I love playing the biscuits. I love playing the blue wahoos. Four day weekend? Nice. My kids just get the three. Oh. You just beat the Baron's butt and rode to the show? Nice. Ooh, it's raining. It's 
It's raining, but we're going to play the ball game, apparently. I had forgotten that we got bounced back down to double A. Forgot all about that, but we are dominating down here. Like we should. But really, I, mean, I still can't believe it bounces Baseball back down to double A. The air as we continue our tour around You're done with school? League. Nice. Should be a good one here this afternoon. Between the Montgomery Biscuits and their Alabama rivals from up I-65, the Birmingham Barons. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. Yeah, my kids still have two weeks left. They're done June And let's 6th. also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Okay, what exactly is he hitting? Yeah, 615. Bones <laughs> will get his first cut He's down, killing it. He'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Why he's down here, I do not know. First pitch coming. Uh, couldn't quite Watch me not hit that anything time tonight. Change up fooled him for strike one. It tends to go to me go that way when I when I stream road to the show. I'm either hitting everything or hitting nothing. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And they tend to alternate. Now a fastball and it's hit on the ground is short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And inning in the books. Six fifteen, yeah, yeah. We kind of killed it last uh, last stream. We did. He was a little he was a little put off by the fact that he he ended the you know in Triple A playoffs doing quite well, and then the the second season starts and they dump him back down to Double A. Dog Bones will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. There we go. No, get down. Ah. Under it, and he makes it too hard for out number three. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. It's a business person special if you want to sit out in the rain. I don't know what's special about that. Elmer Flores will dig in. For a double A game, nonetheless. Off speed. A big uppercut ah, there as it popped this straight up. I always and do I that mean, on the way up there on the left side of the infield. Bones camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. And as a defender, these are the kind of pitchers you like to play behind. Someone who pitches to contact, keeps the defense involved, and he gets an easy pop-up right here. Dog Bones will try things again. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Ah, way ahead of it. Look out, dugout. Third base dugout. <laughs> A runner on first with two away. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Will he throw a third straight slider? Toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And a fourth. Now a fast I like that one the best. Line out Thank to you. Left. This is going to split the gap and get down for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. RBI. Now put him on the board as it's now a three to one contest. We'll get a good look at this from up in our press box cam. You can see the two outfielders give chase, but this is almost perfectly between them as it finds a gap for a double. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah. Travis will stand in. We need Dog to come around here and score. And make this a three-two ball game. Let's do this. And that misses ball four, so it's first. Or take a walk and we'll get a three-run jack and Alberto take the lead. Moreno. See what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. To two balls and two strikes now. Now this needs to be a strike here on two and two because if not, now all of a sudden the runners are off with the next pitch. This one misses and that Okay, we all get to start now. Three, two count, two outs. And now the runners will get a head start here with two away. And that's an important factor too, because that's the tying run over there at first base. So he and we'll have to leave and he it there. Watches this it. Come is strike on. three, and that will retire the side. So it's one run, one hit, no errors. And did I watch the Canadians three, game earlier? Five, no, I ballpark. I saw the highlights, but I did not catch three, it live. One. I was out with my kids tonight, dinner and some shopping and stuff. Ooh, you're gonna give me the bases loaded? This is a guaranteed pop up right here. Give me bases loaded. <clears throat> I always know what happens here. At this point, you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's gonna be to claw back from this depth. Yeah, everybody help Celtics out. Vote on a straw poll there. Do it. Add and pop up. Something new. And I don't think anyone's gonna get to this one. This is gonna get down for extra oh, I got bases. Three. I got this. Here's the tying run to score. The yeah. Base is clear and triple. How about that? And it'll push him out in front by a run. Well, this inning has not started out the way What did I get the kids? You mean where did we go for dinner? Took the whole country buffet. Run, they love going there, the and they actually, um, from over. There that place really stepped up their game, out. man. They made, like, huge changes to the food, to the whole environment of the place. They now have, like, they, they put out these nice-looking individual serving skillets and trays of things. Like, they've got chicken pot pies that are pretty dang awesome now. Yeah, it was good. We'll step forward now Fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, like right out of the oven kind. Fourth, standing ah, at third base. Awesome. Like sometimes undercooked a little, still doughy the way I love them. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Your most common outs are robbed homers. Ouch. That's gotta be frustrating. They're trying to cut down the run here. Oh, oh, yeah, they're not getting that. Chase, but they're not gonna get there. It's down <laughs> for extra bases. And He's going for three. There is the run scores to make two triples two in a row. Now. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Well, something you don't see a whole lot over the course of a season. But he follows up. I've had like, this pinched nerve in my neck for like. Triple of his own. God, That's I swear really like a week knows. and a half now. I know it'll eventually just go away on its own, but damn. God, it sucks. It's like on the right side. It's okay. I'm staying off at injured reserve. I'm here. It's not going to shut me down. Ramon Russell will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. What do I think is wrong with the Red Sox? Uh... <laughs> Year after winning the World Series, I don't know. Okay, here's a swing and a Expectations, ball uh, Throw on to first for the I don't know. I, I just, I, yeah, World way. Series hangover. Thank you. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's you very, very rarely see teams repeat anymore, or, or ever really. I mean, it happens from time to time, you know, the Blue Jays. But um, you know, it's very rare, and it's, it's be, uh, for whatever reason, you know team is complacent with their win everyone else is gunning for them time to hand out top player of the rosters a little different chemistry I mean, you name it there's a million reasons why but, yeah I think I think yeah, 
I, I uh, kind of agree with Lethal Stud there. I think they really do miss Ellsbury at the top of that order. Is my daughter hot? Well, she's 10 years old, so I really hope that we're not talking in those terms yet. So that's a wrap here this afternoon. For EK, Psycho, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The Barons come out on top, 6-3. to three. So long, everybody. Two for four, four RBI, three were on that triple. Yeah. They don't have Ellsbury? No, not only do they not have Ellsbury, he went to the Yankees. He did one of those. Have I been to Angel Stadium? I have. As a matter of fact, I caught game one of the 2004 playoff series, Red Sox Angels there. It was the day that uh, Kurt Schilling first injured himself, which eventually led to the bloody sock deal and all that. <clears throat> and the Red Sox won something crazy like nine nine to two or I mean it was it was a blowout. It was awesome. I loved it. Twins are gonna win the World Series with that twenty three and twenty one record. No, but they might make the summer interesting for me at least. That's uh pretty much what I'd ask for be pretty awesome to shoot if they can stay above 500 I I'm I don't want to say impressed but I mean I I'd be uh, I don't know I, I'd be okay with that I mean I, I I'd be I'd be a little surprised and um, encouraged I guess I don't I don't want to I hate to be at the point where I'm I'm I've settled so much that I'd be happy with a 500 season, but it, it sounds okay right now. It sounds okay. It sounds better than what I expect, so, yeah. Anything declining here? No. Let's do... Let's go with that. I'm going to sim forward. The last two of those three that I simmed. It's not cool. Just bump these so they don't go down. Well, shoot, all these could go down. cheap here your grandpa had season tickets to Angel Stadium I thought it was a nice ballpark I really enjoyed it I got one hellacious sunburn sitting in the uh, upper deck the front of the upper deck behind home plate that day right on my like um, I was, I was pretty good everywhere except I got it really bad like right at the top of my knee, my right knee. I still swear like I have like almost some nerve damage from that where like on some days I'll feel that just like tingling there in that space where I got burnt right above my kneecap. Oh, I don't, I don't get it, but it's, it's weird. I guess I could hit play. I always forget that step. You remember Dog Bones from YouTube? Well, yeah, this stream will be going on YouTube when it is done.
Would you ever want to go to Rogers Center? Well, I haven't technically been to Rogers Center. I've been to Skydome. <laughs> I know it's the same thing. But I was there when it was Skydome. I went in, um, was there in 92, I think. Saw a series there in 92. I did, a, I did a road trip, my dad and I, my dad and my grandma and I. We took an RV and we went, we did Detroit, we did the old Tiger Stadium in Detroit, and it was Detroit-Toronto for a couple games, which was completely amazing and awesome. Old Tiger Stadium was sweet. Um, and then we went across the border and caught a couple games of Skydome. Did the whole deal, you know, saw the game. Went up on the on the CN Tower immediately after. Watched the roof close. That was pretty sweet too. I have not been to Safeco. All right, enough of this. Sometimes I just find myself tranced in taking batting practice. I don't know why. Did I want to jump into the fountain? <laughs> well, I wasn't anywhere near it, so not so much. Stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Birmingham Barons and the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. All right, here Dog we go again. Bones will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. You'd like to go to Camden Yards in Baltimore? Yep, I was there in 2010. 2010 my trip was, uh, we were staying in D.C. so I did I did Nats Park in D.C. saw Strasburg pitch. It's only probably his fifth start or so. Uh, couldn't quite hold uh, back and then uh, we saw the Nats Orioles one. at Camden. And then I took a bus to Philly and saw the Twins Phillies at Citizen Bank on and Father's Day 2010. Way, but this should be routine out there in right field. It was awesome. I had fun talking to him. Actually, it was, uh, it was this cool usher I talked to most of the day. So it's on to the he was pretty of awesome. One, no score. He had some knowledge of uh, the Twin Cities, and we just kind of chatted back and forth about baseball and ballparks and pretty much everything under the sun. <sighs> Yeah, I'll make it to Safeco someday. I want to get out to Seattle in general. You know, I want to. I'd love to do it like a Seattle, here. Vancouver trip sometime. Maybe catch some baseball and hockey. <laughs> Would be awesome if I could swing both. Yeah, dog has quite the sick beard right now. He's looking good in the next the gen, if I do say so. Because when I created that, I didn't change anything. Well, I mean, I guess I did from the original, but I went, I went off the original when I recreated them on the PS3. And then when I ported them, I didn't change anything. So that is a five-layer full beard. So each layer full beard, full beard, full beard, five layers full. That's what he's rocking. Dog Bones will try it again. For two I have not been to Chase Field. I've been to Arizona before. once, but um, I've not been to Chase Field. In the dirt here. It was wow. It was not a baseball trip, unfortunately. That's taken, and now it's over really? two. And a good yeah, I can be any favors here, are you? It's a big Jeez. front door curveball, and he had no way of opening up to it. Swing and a hard liner to center field. 
but this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Almost any center fielder will tell you that this is the toughest play for them to make. <clears throat> Ever consider a New York City trip? Yep, I've been, I've been in New York City charge or just twice. But he's able to make and this play too I've much been trouble. to the old Yankee Stadium, not the new one. I've not been to either Shea or City Field. Do I prefer Yankees or Mets? Well, being a Red Sox fan, I probably prefer the Mets. <laughs> I, I, I guess I don't know. As a baseball fan, first and foremost, I really, I really dug the, um, the history of being at Yankee Stadium and stuff. So I mean, I guess if I had to pick one, Bones will well, of course now, now it's the new Yankee Stadium. <laughs> and it's new history, but his three I, if, so if far. you had to have me pick one, I probably would have picked Yankee Stadium to catch a game. When am I coming to the BSU game? Oh man, I'd love to. I wonder if I can work it. I know you sent me that it's message coming. earlier about that. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Problem is my uh, my weekends with my kids are such, they're usually really split. Like we kind now, of, um, pretty well to left, but this is gonna wind it's up usually not spot. like, well, now, now this weekend, now I say that this weekend is pretty much all my weekend because she's up, like, she's in Wisconsin at campground or something like that, but, um, and that swung on and fouled straight back. Basically, usually, like, they'll split time between one, us, two. like, you know, they'll be with, with my, uh, like she be with, I was well. my wife, so my God. They'll be with Kara on, um, you know, like Saturday yep, afternoon and then they'll come back to me at night Just and then, one out away you know, from I don't know, we, right it, it's so complicated, I don't know. I suppose I could figure something out, though. Problem is I just spent money going down to Orlando this month. I'm trying to read your comments as I go here. Dog Bones will try and get something started here in the top half of inning number 11. Alright, what's he been throwing? 4 4 in the 11th. Let's go. In the air to left center. That's not going to get it done. Durango is there. One pitch, one out. You know, once you get into extra innings, every fly ball here makes you go, whew. Give me another This one bat. didn't have a whole lot behind it, so we're going to keep on playing. Dog Bones will stand in with a run in, one out, and one on here in the inning. A slider that's inside one and oh got to be careful here with a run in already you don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play and the runner back what are you afraid runner to pitch the dog one come one on out. here's the one oh well she ah. two and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's anywhere. even one and one and that's not just because that is not good Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And you know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Oh, on Wait the on it. Dang first. it. Can this be two? There's one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and that the sucks. inning is over. So one run on two hits, no errors, and no one left on base. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. The Barons are out in front here, five to four. You went to the Yankee Stadium incognito then? Yeah, I, I did. I most definitely did. And um, they were in a good mood. It was, uh, it was Hideo Nomo pitching for the Red Sox that day, and he gave up a grand slam on the first inning. It, it was a fun trip, though. That was 2001. And I saw Yankees-Red Sox in Boston 
and then I and then later in the week I saw Yankees Red Sox at one, Yankee Stadium. And I totally wasn't planning on going to the game at Yankee Stadium. I walked into their um, their clubhouse store in uh, in Manhattan there in Times Square. And uh, they're like, hey, can I help you with something? And I just walked in joking, like, uh, yeah, you can hook me up with a ticket for tonight's game. And they're like, oh, yeah, we got tickets, though. I'm like, oh. I figured it would have been sold out, you know, the Yankees, Red Sox. They're like, yeah, we got tickets. Sweet. Yeah, we started that week in Boston, and we took the train in New York. It was, it was a good time. We were there in... Um, April, did I say 2001? Yeah, April 2001. So, do the math. April to September. I was actually at the World Trade Center on a Tuesday morning, roughly about the same time, but, you know, in April instead of September. So, uh, when that happened, I just, like, it was fresh in my mind being there, sitting there by, like, the reflecting pool in between the two buildings, and uh, the thing I remember most was, like, hey, I'd like to get a picture of these. And so, like, I look up and I'm like, <laughs> it's just so massive from where you're standing that, like, I maybe could have gotten two, three windows worth in a picture frame. So, like, the only pictures I actually got of the of the World Trade Center were, like, when we were on the ferry. <clears throat> and it was kind of, you know, set back farther. But I just remember sitting there and looking at their massive size, you know, and so when September 11th happened, it was just like, wow. I mean, I could just picture myself sitting there right about that time, you know, that time of day, that time of week, how relatively, you know, just normal it felt. And wow, crazy. And then I went back, um, <clears throat> what year were we? 2003, I think we were in Philly. And we took the train to Manhattan for the night or for part, you know, for the evening, and then went back. And that was during the time of the DC sniper. So that was crazy, because I'm like, do not fall asleep on this train going back. I don't want to wake up <laughs> and be in DC. That uh, was crazy, too. Alright, I'm going to fast forward in this a little bit, too. Oh, don't sim season. I've come really close to hitting that a couple times. Whoa. I've been trying to ask Timberwolves fans if they like this trade. Jeff Green, Van and Bass, six pick for it. I don't know. I'm bitter about the whole Kevin Love thing. I just, unfortunately, I think it was our previous GM that pissed him off and didn't give him the max salary and you know, you name it. But I think he's already had his mind up for quite some time now. It sucks. And just knowing how um, how the Timberwolves' um, luck and or ability to work the draft has been, I don't really like trading for draft picks, but I don't know. Guess you gotta get something while there's value there. The whole situation just sucks. Get their shot in the limelight today. Scared of the cold? He doesn't the care Southern about the cold. The he does, you know, he, he gets into a lot of stuff in the community the here. He doesn't quote drive every winter. Um, you know, he's out and about doing events and stuff. I don't I don't really see the cold and being an issue. I, I think that pitch, he felt disrespected by David Kahn when he was the GM. I think David Kahn was a complete idiot. I think 
that was apparent when he drafted Johnny Flynn and Ricky and Rubio at the same time. We're just going to pass on Steph Curry when we needed when this team is always always needed a shooting guard. I mean, come on. So I don't know, but the, just the way I don't know. He just felt really disrespected, and I mean, I think things must be better with. Um, you know, with uh, Bones will have his first opportunity the new setup, it but with the bases still, I mean, the now you're in flux first. with uh, with Adelman out the door, and you have a new coach coming in. New coach is going to want to know if he's got Kevin Love to work with or not. Do I think Rubio is a fan franchise player still? No, I do not. He's a... I got the high he's a nice piece he on a, you know, on a good team. He'd be a nice piece, or, you know, he's a nice piece on the team, but he's not a franchise player, no. He, he would have to show me his his, his shooting would have to dramatically increase because I mean the way teams play him now, they lay back and wait for him to pass, and he pretty much like <laughs> he'll like you know drive the lane right into trouble because he's looking to create and they're just sitting back waiting for that pass and um, you know he hasn't proven he could burn anybody with his shooting I mean once in a while he gets hot but I mean he he looks lost out there shooting threes I mean even his mid-range it's it's just not where it needs to be dog bones will take his cuts now with a big opportunity to give his club the lead here Base is loaded again. Time to pop out, although I didn't the last time. And this is hit hard on the ground to the ground out the throw on the second Dang. The horse and the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. We play two and a half. No score on the show. Eric Booth will try to get Ever since that base is loaded triple, I don't think I've done a whole lot. I should probably concentrate a little more on what we're doing. Driven down the left field line, no, will it me. stay fair? <laughs> it will, just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Boy, and you can bet you've got one ticked-off dude out there on the mound right now. He thought he had strike three on the pitch prior to this one. Now all of a sudden, yeah, you got a guy ball. out there standing on second <clears throat> base, and that completely changes the complexion of this whole inning. I mean, like, have, have I even gotten Dog hit since that triple? We'll get things started here in the top of inning number six. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. Booth is going to really? get back, Come and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. And that's a big break for him right there. When you've already thrown five tough innings and you're looking at having to go right through the heart of the lineup to get a first pitch out to start off the inning. If you don't swing on the first welcome. pitch, you can hit the ball more. I know. Dog All right. If I don't locate this pitch, I'm not swinging. To get things started here in the top of the ninth. Oh, I found it. Fastball swung on. Doesn't matter. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well, I think you got away with one right there. I mean, this That's is kind of the rule I, I came up with uh, and he just when I played PS4, too, though, my speedy he hits it contact right hitter, so it a is that um, if I don't locate the first pitch, I'm usually not going to swing at it. Dog bones but really, though, I mean, has he got to hit some the triple? <laughs> who's, been, who's been keeping count? For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll get back in safely. Watches a fast of course he right throws it right back in the middle. <laughs> yeah, of no course mistake he about does. That, one. that one's right there.
Line hard to the left side. Foul. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Nope. Booth has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. You know, once you get into extra innings, every fly ball here makes you go, Whoo. But this one didn't have a whole lot behind it. We so got a scoreless tie to the 13th now? Dog Bones will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Ball That's left down to before. left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. Got to start somewhere. Oh for five. Say hello to one for six. Talk about <laughs> one for six. Yeah. Hit. Now he can sleep Alberto tonight. Moreno. Alberto Moreno will try again. Oh for three thus far. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count will stay at one and two. Grounded to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Is he gonna get him? And a good effort nope. here, but he's well first saved second. at first, and there are two on and two out now. Brian Perez will trot in from the bullpen as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two out. Alexi Ruiz will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger one for six MVP. MVP. Hello. Right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to and we'll have to leave it there as the play is, is made. Is he going to get another chance? So it's no runs in on like two hits, 15th? no errors, and two men left. Oh, he is. Dog he Bones is, he is. Will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ah. called for strike one. I don't like my stupid no rule. I don't find the pitch, I don't swing. I don't like this rule now. It cost me there. I could have driven home the, the winning run right there. Runner on second. Let's go. Swing and he takes nah. this the other way to right. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for All the right. second out. Oh, they're able to get him again. That'll make him one for seven now in this game. Talk about something that tanks your batting average. Ouch. Still doing this, huh? Darren Durango. Bottom of the Big 15th. needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. Ow. Oh, oh, thank you, short so two down. <laughs> thank you for having my back. And I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. By the time he realized this thing was going to break out another of the zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. Dog Bones will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Am I the guy from SGU? I am SGU, yep. Called a 
strike on the no, other you call that a strike? He Come did. on. I don't know about you, but I really That's some hated BS right there. Ball on that very first pitch. Hey, jeez. It puts you just in a terrible frame of mind. Here's a fly oh, ball heading for the outfield. That's looking now, good. Others give chase, but they're not going to get there. It's down for extra bases. I'm liking that. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Finally gonna run home in this game. Alberto Moreno will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Line drive, base hit left field. Yeah, we're not gonna try that. <laughs> and the runner from second will stay put at third, so the they're the corners me now with one away. I tell ya. He has not looked like a 220 hitter to me. This is his second hit of the ball game, and he smoked this one pretty good. Alexi Ruiz will be the first to greet him here. As you hate the umps in this game? Why well, do you like the fact that out. they have umpires with a big swing and a different here. distinct strike, strike zones? Very difficult I just forget to take the time and figure out who's who and harm them. So I tend 90s. to get burned by it you one way or another. Get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. But I, I mean, I do like that they have that element in the game. I mean, if a guy's going to consistently call an outside strike or an inside strike, I and mean, if he's consistent, then fine. You can adjust to it, you adapt. Six strikeouts right now in this series alone. Man, that's a rough weekend at the ballpark. There's our insurance going to get on through into center field for a base hit. And to score is the runner from third, and they've added another to their late lead here in extra innings. That's a great example of one teammate. So really, how long are they going to have him back in double the guy This is struck out, couldn't drive the run in. Pointless if you ask Gets me. him off the hook here by knocking in the run with two away. And boys, probably a handful of deserving Didn't think I'd be getting two hits in that game the way it started. Order, what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it, it's nice to have someone like this that you can call on to finish things out for you. And he came on to slam the door Too shut. Too great. <laughs> so that's a wrap here tonight. Game winning RBI, though. Sending up the triple A, is that an inter interaction type? <laughs> Should be. I got another fielding training session? Okay. Level three now. He's like, this is great, coach. When do I go back to AAA? Or maybe the majors? Why am I here?
first and third, one out. So far so good. First and second, one out. Still rolling. First and second, one out. So far, oh, bad throw, dude. Not on me, though. Two outs running around first. One out, first and second. Yeah. His fielding's not that good yet. At least he didn't get anything negative there. For uh, second and third, one out. Runner out first, two outs. Runner in third. I don't have much of anything for range. I finally caught a live stream. I feel accomplished now. <laughs> nice. Three hundred that time around. Yeah. Let's play ball. Make him request a trade? We'll see. If they continue with this double ABS, then yeah, maybe. Ask to switch to second until I get called up? I suppose I could do that. We'll look at that after this game. I've got no uh, emotional ties to be um, continuing as, I mean, I, I don't have to debut as a White Sox, that's, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Did he clear the batter's eye? Yeah. The show's continuing coverage of minor league baseball is on the air tonight we've got a good matchup in store between the Jacksonville that'd be Suns crazy if you got traded to and the, Reds. the Birmingham <laughs> Barons the original it was from the Indians to the Reds and before we get much further am I going to the all-star game most likely not junk and I really want to go to the home run derby but right now I think Subhub, the last time I checked was running 
like 200 bucks a piece for standing room. I'm thinking the high, the highest end we'd go is probably 150 a seat, but I don't know. Braves, I'm sorry. Yeah, it wasn't Indians, it was Braves and the Reds. Ooh. Dog Bones will stand in, and as you can see, the big number there, he's up over 400 to begin the campaign. Wow, look at his numbers at home. <laughs> 182. I must have played a lot more games at home, or maybe not. First pitch on the way. And Whoa. I'm not sure you can get fooled worse Hello, than curveball. that. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're yeah, accustomed to see from again. a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one. On a hole oh, now as he man. swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and <laughs> it's one and two now. Still well, no fastballs in the that. at bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. And that ball I'll take is it. gone. Home run. Dog gone right off the batter's eye. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. That's a thing about this game. Every I don't know. To me, I mean, the, the All Star game will obviously be fun. I mean, if somebody handed me All Star tickets, I, mean, I would obviously go. But I mean, I'm the same way with hockey. I, I always wanted to go to the skills competition, which I didn't make it to when we had the All Star game. Unfortunately, I went to one of the open workouts, but I didn't make it to the skills competition. And it was mainly because my um, daughter was being born right around that time. Um. She was real little, I think, right when we had the all -star. She would either... No, had she been born yet? Well, I don't know. Anyway, it was right around that time, and... Um... But anyway, I would rather go to the Home Run Derby than the All-Star game. Itself. Elvis Olibo is ready to go here as we begin the third. What year was that? 2004, I believe, when we had it. Well, it had to have been. That's the year my daughter was born. And now here's a swing and a ground Why am I throwing third. it? Yeah. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time. I was ready to throw it a second there. Wait, I got him? Oh, man. I didn't think I got him. Yikes. Who watch this. That was a hell of a pick by the first baseman watching that back. Yeah, Kylie is 10. Dog Bones will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. To deep left center field, and that ball is gone. So a three-run shot to left center, his second home run of the game, as they move on top four to nothing. I'm gonna need to save up for that 2018 oh, Super Bowl. I know, right? Long ball again to fight him. <laughs> Second one he's allowed here yeah, because the only way you're going to get in is pay you what, the way he's right now, just obscene amounts of money. Showers. You're not going to get them legit. Well, even if you do get them legit, it's obscene amounts of money. But... Sonny King. Get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. A 
2-1 offering. Late decision to offer in the change. Let's turn the right base this time. Yeah. And I mean, I guess I did last time. I had a good recovery. As the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. And your first punch out. this Monday night. After <laughs> yeah. This. Let's go to source. Let's do that. Why you set on medium? Don't do that to me. Ha, that looks much better. I'm like, why does my stream look like crap all of a sudden? But it was set on medium. Now I got that source. Junior Ortiz will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Wait, Junior Ortiz? It's not the Junior Ortiz who played on the 91 uh, Twins championship team. And now we'll try to punt for a base hit here as he gets this game. one down. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw is too late. <laughs> Unless he's got a son that's playing now. Does anybody know? Wouldn't he be like Junior Junior Ortiz? It's funny because we were um, we were just in the Champions Club, Junk and I. We splurged and sat in the Champions Club with the Twins Red Sox game, the third game of the series. And um, we were sitting there after the game, looking at the '91 Twins poster, '87 and '91 team pictures, and you know, without looking at the names, just like you know, by recall, I'm going through them like Junior Ortiz, yeah. Dog bones. We'll stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Zero is a pitcher's number? Well, everybody who's made up in the show, I swear, all the made up pitchers have single digit numbers. It's now so it's bizarre. And he just fouls this one away. Okay, see you guys, it's number three, two, nine. It's just, it's really weird. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way. Oh, and it's a carry. Right. Not Corona quite. Corona is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Yeah, just a little bit late here on the fastball, and this thing's almost by him when he makes contact. Still, he gets pretty good wood on the ball, but not enough to trouble the right field. And never be better than zero. Yeah. Dog Bones will come up now in yet another big RBI opportunity. And he's got four already, and he's got a chance to make this a game. What was that sound? Me chewing ice? Probably. Strike. Leave that first pitch yeah, alone, I don't dude. think that pitch wound up where he wanted it to, but it did the trick. On good opposite field I like that one better. Oh, it cleared. Right. Oh, I didn't think and there was any way in hell that was good. The right field seats. It's that a was a rocket. Run. Frozen rope. Is this the sound you're talking about? So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. I'm going to ice my cup. third home run of the ball game. As this is now a seven run ball game. Boy, have a night. His third home run of the ball game. I mean, he's absolutely brimming with confidence at the plate. He's been enjoying wow. it so far. Can't believe that got out. I was thinking two the whole time on that ball. Ken Punto will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. Is this Nick Punto's brother? Tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. That's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. 
Surprise drug test after this game. Three of us have ever witnessed. Eleven to one, our score as we head to the finish line. Finally, in this one. Can you pull the champ kind and hit four? Stand in, looking to do something only. Who's the prospect to hit four yesterday and then hit another one today? Home runs in a game. I'm gonna get that outside action out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I wasted it on that. I had a mouth. chance for four, and, and I did that. Take only the out at first as the run comes oh well. Give me something to try for later. So he wisely just takes the out at first, and he allows the run to come home and score. Eight RBI, is that good? <laughs> so a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our top player of the game. I mean, to me, if you don't call him up after this game, something's right wrong. It winds up finishing with three home runs. But what surprised me was, after a while, why even pitch to him? Let's just speed up a bit. Let's get that game going. I should look at the organization here. What am I dealing with? 72 overall, D potential at the majors. Um, okay, 69, I mean, I'm just barely under him. Hmm. And what do they got a second? I'm better off seeing it at third. I mean, not by a ton, but Beckham's a 74B potential. Trying to bump my overall up enough where it'd be the same as the AAA guy. Don't go on a huge losing streak now, that's better. Got to 69. Call us up now. Dang it. 
Call me up. Does Road of the Show always start in double A? Yeah. Switch the second to move me up? Why? It was um, the, the player at AAA was the same overall as their third baseman, and the and Beckham in the majors was two points better. I don't understand why that would help me. You were a third baseman for the same team, you switched and they called you up. Hmm. Interesting. Why does my bone feel so weird right there in my shin? <laughs> That's odd. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Birmingham Barons what and their Alabama Browns franchise. rivals down on the Gulf, the Mobile oh, Bay Bears. You're not the same person that asked me that on Twitter And before we get too Twitter much further, here's a look at each manager's ago, starting lineup here for the opener. And somebody said, where are the Browns? And I said, it's the last time I checked, they're in Cleveland. Nothing happened. Briefly, let's take a look you at know, the two newer games are out. Well, lately, when I post here. baseball or basketball, it just it doesn't really get any views. In a perfect world, would I like to make an episode of oh, each one of these series every single day? Sure. But, you know, it's just not time. Dog. I would like that wasn't you, okay. <laughs> Um, I would like to do another Browns. I mean, I, I would like to. That's one I would like to get back to. So, just know that I've thought about it a couple times recently, but it, it all kind of comes down to the time I have and all that. So, right now the daily priority is push a couple baseball videos out, and then if I have extra time. Work on work on something on the side, whether it's Wally McGee or maybe Browns franchise. So in the air, the right <clears throat> it is stuff I hope to get back to. Ha is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Uh, I was drafted. He's got a potential. I'm pretty sure he was drafted first round, but I can't remember. Dog Bones will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Marte. Is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Dog. Bones will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Foul toward the coaching box too at third. Quick, too quick. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. 
And that's actually a lot tougher play than it looks out there in right field. You know, sometimes off of a right-hander's bat, that ball can kind of curl away from you, but he stays right with it to put it away. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. How's that for positioning? He was throwing off speed, cheating a little to the line, hit it right in. To get him out of the inning. <coughs> Four reactions. Screw that. I was standing right there. Three to end the threat. More Matt Day baseball reaction. here on a Wednesday afternoon. Following this, junk. Dog Bones will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Trades never happen after the pick happens. Uh, the Timberwolves are the masters at that. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold <clears throat> strike anyway. That man right there opting to stay with his starter as we start the seventh inning. And with his pitch count where it is right now, it wouldn't surprise me if they call it an afternoon yeah. after this yeah. inning. As a matter of fact, Kevin Love was one of those. They drafted O.J. Mayo and traded him, traded him for Kevin Love. They traded um, <clears throat> Brandon Roy for Randy Foy. They traded... Uh, who else falls into that list? The Timberwolves do that so many times, and it, it just it just pisses me off. The... The, the Kevin Love one worked out. That was the one that worked out. The Randy Foy for Brandon Roy, that did not work out. <clears throat> Dog Bones will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game. And what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point the in the game. Drafted for he you can make them. up for it with a big hit right here. It's one of the oldest cliches in baseball, but there's something to be. Oh, you're talking weeks after? Oh, okay. Play it one game at a time. <clears throat> Admittedly, I jumped into a conversation that I was not a part of before, so I kind of knew that was going to happen. Like a completely different ball club. Alberto Moreno will stand in with a run in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Let's see if this new spot. Ah, who knows what happened? Every time I take a lead, I get picked off. Hate it. This is all about quickness with the right hand. I wish I could get, get tweaked a little bit. You need just another split second to be able to, you know, at least sometimes get back. I had just taken that lead. Frustrating. Full of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the heart? Bring Lewis Scott back in NBA 2K15? I'll think about it. Maybe I should bring Big Man back. Or how about Re no one ever says bring Roberto Rojo back? How? Why is that? Come on, man, Roberto Rojo. <laughs> we want Big Man Junior. kind of dumb I lost like what, like eight training points there just for getting picked off right at the end Blah. Blah. let's see wow one cost 19 okay All ready to pull that trade request. Go.
Go ahead and call me up. Feel free. Bad control. Is this the one with the zone? I'll do that one. I hate the um, the one where you gotta decide strike or ball. I hate that one. I've gotten better at it, but I still hate it. This one frustrates me, but at least I, I have more fun doing this one. That Birmingham B logo looks sick by itself? Yes, it does. I warned you to make a trade happen sooner. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, I got the first, the right zone of the first try. Yeah. Too bad you need so many damn points to even get bronze. Oh, come on. How'd I miss that? Still get a lot of points for hitting the ball at the ballpark, even if it is the wrong field. No. What are you doing, dude? There we go. A little too late, probably. I guess he's got bronze already. Oh, stay in the zone, stay in the zone. No, that's gonna be just outside. And hits the wall. Sucks. There we go. What's a jack worth in the right zone? 891. Yeah. Gold, baby. Just don't blow it now. I'll take anything that's not a negative at this point. Too pretty. Can we push ourselves to a 70 overall now? What I'm really looking for is the call straight to straight to the majors. Forget AAA. We've been there and done that. We've been there and done that already. Still not a 70, huh? Yeah, okay. Well... Call me up. Call me up. Let's go. Come on, it's me now. Don't be afraid to call me up. Just saying. Oh, one point. Too little to do that. I'm going to sim to the soft day and see what happens. Oh! Oh shit. Oh, here we go. I am making the direct jump. They're just testing me. They're just testing me. 
40 man roster. They were just testing me. Okay. We've been purchased. I think we're making the, the jump. Why we went back to double A to do all this, I have no idea. What would triple A wouldn't have been fine and better competition for him to go against? <laughs> I'm done. I don't get it. Did that make any sense? I still don't think it made any sense. <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting Major League debut tonight. Or should I leave you on a cliffhanger? Ha, da, da, da. Nah, I won't do that. Well, okay then. Ooh, and we got points for being called up, obviously. into the lineup right into the lineup do they have I wonder if they um, I should have looked to see if there was an injury we'll check after this remind me I think we'd have a spotlight going into this game, but we'll see. Sad it has to be on the road? That's ah, okay. Sad it has to be in the in Tropicana Field. I mean, come on. But even Tropicana looks good. In the, I mean, every stadium looks so awesome on the PS4. Every time I see one, I'm like, wow. It's like, like Chase Field when I'm playing with Broadway. I'm like, dang, this stadium looks nice. Straight to the White Sox, who needs Triple A? Well, he he did play a little bit of Triple A in the previous season. He was in the you know he was in the in Triple A down the stretch. Was in the Triple A playoffs. So we were kind of surprised when he went back down to Double A. It was like, what was the point of that? What's my PS4 name? Not as fan. His first home run could get robbed like up on a catwalk here. Yeah. Like that one. Let's get this done. Let's do this. Tonight's game is just around the corner as we start to wrap up the MLB pregame show. Bundle the action. Let's take a look at a young player to watch for as we give you the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Dog Bones is our subject. 
And we all suspected this day would eventually come when we saw him drafted in the first round a while back. He's made the journey through the minors, and he makes his major league debut in this one. Well, Matt, making your debut in the show is a very satisfying and exciting experience. You work your entire life to reach this moment, and when you finally do, it can be really overwhelming in a lot of different ways. Not only are you dealing with nerves, but also everything just seems bigger. The stadium, the crowd, the pressure, it's all amplified at this level. As for this guy, there's been a lot of hype around him since before he was even drafted, so I think everyone is excited to see what he looks like against big league competition. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. MLB all right, the show all right. has baseball coming your way from Tropicana time. Field here in St. Petersburg. Hey, DCHS, how you Tonight doing? we wrap up this three-game series between the Chicago White Sox Ooh, the White Sox are the doing Tampa well this Bay season. Rays. Look at that. We got me hitting right behind a Brayu. They got Kadire too. It's not bad. Bones will get his first shot at it here. Baby, baby time. Left field, and I don't oh think this God. Or any other will hold that ball. That one is gone. Oh, God. way for him to start out his major league career. His first major league hit is also his first major league home run. Not many players can claim that. And as a player, you're anxious to get those first out of the way as quickly as possible. So safe to say that collecting your first hit and home run with one swing of the bat, well, that's pretty sweet. Let's hope they can get out there and claim that ball for him as a souvenir, because he's going to want to keep that in his trophy case. Mm. Wow. Wow. That was sweet. That was pretty awesome. Dog Bones will stand in again. He homered his first time around. All right, I'm letting this first pitch go. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. Dude, like all that the really haircuts look freaking the awesome end. in this game when these guys take their hats off. The thick hair, the, like that guy's just like short hair is cool. Now a fly ball out to center for Jennings. And there's the second out of the inning. Now, you know... Even though he's given up two home runs, he's only down 2 nothing. I mean, his guys can get that back in no time. Even though he probably doesn't feel too good about things, he's still very much in this ballgame. Desmond Jennings will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Short lead from second, now the pitch. Swing and a high pop up back yeah, onto the react, outfield react, grass whoa. now. Bones backs up and I reacted the right way. Why am I throwing to first? I'm gonna lose points for that. And as a defender, <laughs> these are the kind of pitches you like to uh, play behind. Someone who pitches to contact. I don't know why I threw that ball off. And he gets an easy pop up right here. Wah, wah, wah. Dog 
Bones will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. The 1-0. -oh. Nah. Fouled straight back. No, just leave that gets alone. A piece Come on, there as this is chopped foul. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to Is this three dog bones from the YouTube series? One. Well, yeah. yeah. Take a couple of home run balls out of the equation. And recreated really him this year. All that badly. Put him into the new game. Ported him over from PS3 to PS4. But um, actually, no. I think, did we start the live streaming of him strictly with PS4 or did we port him over? No, I think we ported him. Have we tried using the dynamic batting option? No, is that the. You just talking about the camera that that's used in like when you're playing real games the default one because I like that one I didn't see it as an option in uh, Road to the Show Dog or are you talking Holmes about something else will stand in here remove the stupid beard what he did no. back in the second inning as we flash you back <laughs> and take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense yeah. rolling Ball in there for a cold strike. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Runner goes for second. It swung on and missed the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. It looks weird. That's your opinion. And we'll get a nice shot here from our overhead, Ooh, overhead camera. camera. You can see him get a good I've break from first base, yet. and he's able to take second with ease. Guess you got to play in domes more. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Now a slider is hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to the first baseman, Loney, and the side is retired. White Sox leave one. And it's still three to one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, three three game. Dog Bones will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. and away to start the inning it's one and oh so that if you start doing poorly when it goes up does it bounce back down does it even out somewhere good split ah. there and it's even at one and one you watch the MLB 13 road of the show series awesome yeah I model them exactly you know I, I tried to go back to that creation video and um, pretty much model them now a foul tip that's held on all to the same um, count attributes that I put and stuff. Now. And he looks spot on. But then, you know, when he went to next gen, the the beard is a little more, um, you know, fleshed out. Obviously, taking the graphics to a new level. To two balls and two strikes now. Now 
Now here's the pitch. And he gets under the 2-2 a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. There to take it is Zobrist, and that's out uh, number at least, one. I made him throw a few pitches. You know, once you get into extra through. innings, every fly ball here makes you go, whew. But this one didn't have a whole lot behind it, so we're going to keep on playing. It goes back down if we get into throw. Okay. That's kind of cool. Dog Bones. We've got Boston another game with extras. Back in the second inning of this one. Swing and a ball yeah. hit hard on the ground is short. Taken there by Escobar. Throw on to first, two gone. Two quick outs here to start things off. Can't ask for much more than this in extra innings. Hold, serve, then give your guys Keep a shot. Keep it going on here again. Yes. Another marathon game. Dog Bones will lead things off here in the top half of the inning. Make that debut last as long as possible. Although I'd like to add some hits to the party here. Now the first pitch, and that one's the first swing home to start sweet. the inning. Let's it's ball one. Hey, Icon, how's it going? Let's see if there's a slider here. That swung on the uh, best, and we're even at one and one. Just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Line hard to the left oh, side. Oh, come on. But foul. Here's another one, too. And this is hit sharply, but foul past <laughs> the fact that I even got a piece of that was pretty amazing. And here we go, sliders. Yeah, crap. under it is Beckham as he takes it in smoothly for route number one. Oh, they're able to get him again. That'll make him one. Well, I highly doubt it will go to the 17th or whatever it needs to get to. Ouch. Whoa, both teams score two in the 17. <gasps> oh. oh, wow. Dog Bones will see if he can get things started here in the top half of the inning. This is crazy. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now the ah. is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center this field. This is gonna kill the batting average. Right there, one down. Now this deep in extra innings, they're just gonna say, "Hey, this is your game now, pal. We need you to go as long as you can." And at least he started this inning off on the right foot. Huh. Well, he won the game. One for eight, though. We're sitting inside the bench again. He and still gets a pat on the back. game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, whoa, but whoa, he whoa. made it count. Big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ballgame. 
so that'll put well, guys, things here this evening. We made the uh, major league debut. I think I'm going to probably call it there. A presentation of MLB the show. For more, follow us on Twitter, Before I get too tired and start doing really show. silly things the like White go one for eight in ball games. Oh wait, five. I just did that. <sighs> Good night from Tampa. So this is fun though. <laughs> for whatever reason that we got dumped back to double A, we made the jump from double A up here at least for now. Well, I was gonna check and see if there was an injury or anything. One for eight. Dang. Milestones, though. Milestones. And Chicago is winning. I like it. That's, he's double A. No. No injury. Not a third anyway. Wait. No, it's the same one. Oh, so they, oh, so they sent him to... So they basically switched spots. They sent him to double A and called me up. Interesting. I mean, he is deep potential. 27 years old. It makes sense. Huh. So I am the starter then. I am the third baseman. No one else up. That's cool. That should work out nicely. Come up to a team that's got a hot start. I think I can dig this. All right. Well, I think that's where we'll leave it for tonight. Dog bones with the White Sox. Awesome. <laughs> Glad you think so. All right, so I think I will call her quits there, but I will put this up on YouTube, and um, we'll try to get back at another stream with this real soon, maybe even tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm digging the fact that he's in the majors now, having fun hanging out and playing this, so yeah, thanks for joining me, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.